Hello, my name is Mrs Woodhouse and I'm one of the four art teachers here at Perry Fields and I've been asked just to give you some information about our Art GCSE course which you adopt for shortly and then begin at the start of Year 10. It's a two year course and the title is Art, Craft and Design so it doesn't matter whether you're more of a fine artist or that's where your interests lie or whether you like illustration or graphic design or computer aided design for example we make sure we've made a project for you that um, not only fits all the, the requirements by the exam boards but also covers a lot of areas of techniques, specialisms and, and artist styles so it puts you in a really good position at the end of the course before you take your exam to know what your strengths and weaknesses are and potentially moving forward whether you want to do art in further education or maybe even as a career. Okay? Lots of students do, do choose our subject at GCSE level um, because it's an interest and they have it in mind to perhaps end up in a career that, that focuses and, and utilises those skills and techniques learned. Um, or it might just be that some students choose the object um, choose the subject as um, a sort of therapy or um, release um, and we have lots of students that do that. So what does the course entail? We split into two halves. 60% of the course is coursework, so it's one portrait of coursework project currently, and the other 40% is an externally set exam. But again, it's very much folder-based. Um, it's not, not sat in a ball, for example, and it's taken over three months. So your coursework, you start when you come to us at the start of year 10, and that runs till after Christmas into year 11. And then um, after that Christmas in year 11, you're given your exam paper, where you can choose a question that you want to base your exam piece on. You spend three months preparing for that exam, um, doing your folder work or your planning and preparation, and then you sit for two days, um, two school days, with breaks and lunch times to then um, create your final piece which you'll know exactly what that's going to look like because you'd have worked on preparing it for three months prior. Okay, So your coursework worth 60% and then your exam work and final piece which is done in the 10 hours is worth the remaining for, remainder 40. What I'm going to do now is switch to show you a couple of folders of coursework um, and hopefully that will help guide your mind whether the subject is right for you. So here's an example of a portraiture project which is, which is worth 60% of your overall grade. So with portraiture you can focus the project on yourself, your own face, or you maybe want to focus it on a celebrity or a family member. So at the start of the folder I'm going to show you some of the assessment objective one, which is always artist links. So we tend to start projects with your own photographs and then we explore different artist styles. We give you some examples and you can explore your own as well. So on the left of these pages you've got your research boards which often includes information about that artist that you're going to explore and examples, pictures of their work. And on the left here is a picture of the student's work in the style of that artist. And that's what we've got here as well. Another artist and then work on the right in the style of that artist. But we can see it's going a little bit more into portraiture now. Here's a third explored artist. Again, research about that artist on the left and work in the style of that artist on the right. A nice Photoshop work here. But as you can see through all of the folder, we're exploring lots of different techniques and materials. Here we've got biro and acrylic, ink and watercolour, and another mixed media piece there. And here we've got Photoshop, using the student's own photographs and adding text and filters. Then we move on to your AO2. Your assessment objective two, which is observational drawings and further experimentation. And here we have four different portraits. Again, exploring different techniques and materials, but it's all about capturing a likeness, realistic drawing from observation. And that's worth the second 25% of your overall grade, because there are four assessment objectives in total, this being the second. 
Then we move on to your third assessment objective, which is thinking about your final intentions, which just means gener generating ideas for a final piece. So you look at all the artist's work that you've explored so far in the project, you think about what your strengths were, what, you, what your likes, what your dislikes were, and then you can start putting those ideas down onto paper with the intention of generating an idea for a final piece. All about exploring what you want that final piece to look like, but we must be able to see evidence of where you've been inspired from the other assessment objectives. So this being the third assessment objective, the third one is your so here we have the student's final piece. So hopefully that gave you a really good insight to the four assessment objectives. The first one being you look at and work in the style of different artists. Then you do some observational drawing. Then you use all that work to generate ideas for a final piece. And then you generate that final piece. And this is that student's example of that. So here's another example of a coursework GCSE folder. Same format again, you can see the artist explored the research for that artist on the left. In this case we've got some examples of the artist's work and then let's go to And then on the right we've got a portrait of the artist. We've got a print in print experience here. We've got some research here. or queries or, or, or anything that you want to ask you can find us up um, G15, 16 um, and 14 and we're, we're here to, to answer any questions that you might have.